Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Soul of Books podcast, a hangout place for all the book lovers out there. I hope you guys are having a great day and let's get started. Today, I'll be talking about the Legend series written by Mary Lou. This one is a perfect read for those who love Divergent and Hunger Games. Legend is set in a dystopian Los Angeles in a time where North America has developed into two warring countries, the Republic and the Colonies, and there has to be a rebel group in a dystopian story and they are called the Patriots. So, at the age of 10, every child of the Republic must go through a trial, the method of determining a child's physical and mental capabilities. Based on these marks you score, you'll get education aid, you might get superior jobs and all, but the failed ones go to work camps. And they can never come back to the city or to their family. It's like they are sent off forever. So we have two main protagonists in this story, one is called June and the other is called Day. June is a military prodigy born into an honored family and groomed for success in the Republic's highest circles. So apparently, she's the only one in history to score a perfect 1,500 on the trial. With no parents to rely on, she can always count on aid from Matthias, her older brother. That is, until the day Matthias is mysteriously murdered while guarding a hospital. The prime suspect is Day. Day? Who is Day? That's what you might be wondering, right? That's our other protagonist, as I mentioned earlier. Day is born into the slums of the Republic and the country's most wanted criminal. So at the age of 10, when Day got his trial done, he failed and he was sent to work camps. At least that's what the people think the failed one goes to. But in reality, the work camps turned out to be labs to experiment on the supposedly worthless children who had failed the trial. On the night he was taken, the Republic took samples from Day's body and left him for dead. But he managed to escape and is believed to be dead. From then on, he led a life of extreme poverty, living on the streets with his orphan friend, and he became the country's most wanted criminal and never has been caught. Since he's believed to be dead, there is no record of him for the government to match. He uses his phenomenal athletic and intellectual capabilities to harass the government, attacking their military bases and hospitals, and generally speaking, causing chaos. And to maintain order and to at least pretend that the government got it under control, the police are trying to catch him out but nobody knows his real name, no one has ever seen his face or heard his voice, Day is a complete mystery. It is during one of these attacks that Day supposedly murders June's brother, Matthias. And now, June wants her revenge and is sent to find Day. Finding Day is not gonna be easy since he has never been caught. But June is brilliant in her own ways and finds him and turns him in to the Republic. Day has escaped death before and he's only trying to survive while taking care of his family, especially his sick brother. It's a roller coaster ride from there and grips the readers. I truly enjoyed both of these narrators equally, which rarely happens. They both have great characteristics that makes each POE interesting. The plot is a stylish dystopian one, but the world building is like a 2 on a scale of 1 to 10. But still a worthy, fast paced, easy read. It's a beginner dystopian friendly book, so if you want something advanced, I would suggest An Ember in the Ashes, Red Queen, Six of Crows. If you want their reviews, go check them out on my channel. The whole series was originally a trilogy consisting of the part Legend, that is the first part, then comes Prodigy, and then comes Champion. But later, a part called Rebel was released, and there are different opinions on the fourth release. And I think for me, the Legend series ended with the third one. You know the feeling when you're reading a standalone and later a sequel gets released and you're like, nope, I didn't need that, I already got my ending. That's how I felt. But Rebel, it's still an amazing book from a little more different perspective and expander world. So yeah, give it a try and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you like the podcast, drop a big thumbs up, subscribe to be notified, check out my playlist or other episodes for more reviews and recommendations. Alright, that's it for the week. Thanks for tuning in, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.